What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome back to episode number three of my Pokemon Wire Wonderlock going down on the channel right now. So in episode two, what happened was we learned how to catch a Pokemon. We caught our first Pokemon, I think that was back on Route 2. It was a, I believe it was a Pidgey. And then from that, um, from the Wonder Trade we got from that, we, we scooped up a Gibble, which is absolutely amazing. Such an awesome, lucky Wonder Trade. Uh, but then after that, we made our way through Sandaloon Forest. Uh, we scooped up a Pampor, and we went and traded that off, and we got a Tailor as well. But we'll go through the party recap in a moment. But yeah, we, we met up with uh, Youngster Joey and um, cruised through Sandaloon Forest with the crew, uh, made our way out. And pretty much that's all she wrote for episode two. So um, now we've hit, um, we're here. We've made it out onto a route three, as you guys can see. We're hanging out with the crew here. Had a nice chat. Got um, told some adventure rules um, for our journey, I guess. Like the beginners' tips. But yeah, now we're uh, here on route through a uh, route three, also known as Overt Way. Uh, where we can actually get a another encounter in today's episode. Um, but yeah, so in today's episode, we'll cruise through here. We will catch our Pokemon. Ho well, hopefully catch our Pokemon. One trade off, see what we get. Smash some trainers, knock them out of the park, and then make our way to Sandalin City. And yeah, let's uh, let's stop talking about it and let's just do. Um, so our party, as you guys can see from the last episode, nothing has changed. We still have a Flare here, the uh, level 10 Fennekin, uh, which is up on defense and lowered on speed with Scratch, Tower Whip, and Ember. Then we've got Gibble, which is an adamant nature that uh, has Tackle, Thrash, Outrage, and Iron Head. And then we also have Taylor with Brave Bird, Growl, and Focus Energy, which is crazy. Brave Bird, a level 8 Taylor with Brave Bird. Woo! That's going to be so fun, especially coming into the next gym. We've got uh, a bug type gym with Viola. But yeah, should we get the encounter first or should we... I think we should battle the trainer first. Um, just because the encounter could potentially uh, drain some health from our team members. But yeah, so we got preschooler Oliver. It's Caterpie. Awesome, so this is a walking park. Um, I'll just double check. I just want to see the party one more time. So Gibble, uh, I might switch train here with Gibble. Just to um, get some quick little XP. Because Gibble could be the main main man of our uh, party in the future. I can I can see a lot of potential. Um, drag, even though Dragon types do have a rather bad disadvantage in this game because they really emphasized on the fairy typing. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, that adamant, adamant natured iron head. Come on, stop it. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, we're going to grind through these trainers. Um, I was gonna, I was going to throw it in like a grinding montage, but I thought uh, this being my first let's play on the channel, we'll just we'll just cruise through, we'll just take our time and um, enjoy, just soak it all in. Should be a good time. Should be a good time. So we got Azuru. Ah, oh, cool. So um, having these steel iron heads going to be good against fairy types. So that's that's nice, even though. We've got a major weakness to fairy types. Completely forgot about it. I just forget typing. I'm just like, yeah, I'll just use Iron Head because I don't want to get locked into an Outrage and have to switch out. Because that's the only thing with Outrage. You can't, um, you can't predict that. Mummy told me to be polite, especially when I lose. Yeah, get robbed. Being polite, more like just like giving me money. Oops! Oh, nearly, nearly got that encounter, and nearly again. God damn! Gotta watch where we walk. This is the next preschooler. So we got preschooler Ella with Pichu. 
Uh, should have should have switched Gibble to the front. Too good. We'll just clean up the Fennec in here. Because I believe Viola has like level 10 to 14 Pokemon at her gym, so we need to make sure Flare is up there. Uh, just to make sure that we've got a nice powerhouse ready to, so we don't get wiped out uh, in the first gym, which I could always see happening with me if I don't grind Gibble up to level 10 as well. At least level 10. Let's keep going, so we can't get to that item. Oh. Hey, sweetheart. Calm down. Okay, so this guy will want to battle, or this preschooler. Hey, my Pokemon Pokemon and I are studying. Want to join us? Yes. I don't want to join you. I want to steal your money. Uh, the Bidoof God has made an appearance in X and Y. So I think we'll get Fennekin up to like level 12 because I think the Vivion in Viola's gym is level 12. So that way we've got Flare here to at least match that without having to do too much grinding. Awesome. Thanks schoolgirl Bridget. Just studying isn't enough. I need to practice more with real battles. Sure do. 192. Jeez, you're paying out better than preschooler. Oh, dang. Oh, I think we're trapped now. I think we may potentially have to encounter here. I have accidentally jumped over. Oh, dear. Here we go. <laughs> okay, first patch of grass. First patch of grass. Safe. The best way to learn about a move is to have your Pokemon use it. Okay. Schoolboy Brighton. Look at his specs, he's looking like me, long hair right now, the specs. See I can't have Taylor at the front because if we get an encounter... Uh, see this is tough because we could pretty much KO anything with Flare so Gibble's going to be my safety for this next encounter. I'm trying to think ahead because I think I may need Kibble in the front, and we may just have to suck up this first encounter. Pants here. So I won't be able to use Taylor because Brave Bird is definitely going to KO whatever we find in this sort of like leveling for the route. But let's go. Get out of here. Pants here. Check this animation, it is so powerful. Oh my god, like how could you survive that? How could you survive that? Awesome. The boosted XP is going to help immensely. But could be a bad thing as well. Could definitely backfire. If we're getting that much XP off like a level 3. Especially with there being, like, I know between the first three gyms, from what I remember, there's a huge gap between, um, the gyms. Like, you're pretty much level 30 by the time you hit the third gym, which is unheard of. Which I thought was very strange. Like, the first time I was playing through, I'm like, oh, I'm almost at, like, level 30. Like, 20 to 30. And we haven't even hit the third gym yet. It's crazy. Okay, so let's see. Can we get through here? Let's just run a walk. No. Okay. <laughs> Here is our encounter for Route 3. It is a Burmy. A Burmy. So we can't use Flare. We could probably just try Catch It because from what I know, the catch rates are pretty high as well. So let's just try... Let's try a Pokeball. Check that. A lot easier. I actually just done that from the start. It, oh, why didn't I think of that? I was overthinking the situation. So note to self, do not overthink the situation. Just go for it. If you fail that first Pokeball, then then think the uh, think it through. So it says, uh, if its cloak is broken in battle, it quickly rem remakes the cloak with materials nearby. Oh, cool. 
Good old Bernie. So I think we'll give Bernie a nickname just uh, so whoever receives it has like a a nicely nicknamed Bernie. So let's call this Bernie. Um, what should we call it? Let's call it Shroud. S H R O U D. I don't know why. It just sounds cool. We'll just go with that. Female Bami name named Shroud. So whoever receives this, there you go. So let's get into Wonder Trade, because as you guys know, the Wonder Lock rules means that I have to Wonder Trade it straight away, regardless of what I'm doing. But at least we got that encounter out of the way and potentially we can receive some power. So it's going to be a very late night at the moment in the US. So here in Australia, it's mid-afternoon. So let's go into Wonder Trade. Yes, we would like to save our adventure so far. Yep. Okay. So let's go to Burmy. So it was a calm nature with shed skin. And it just said protect, so it couldn't do anything to us anyway. But let's go. Catch a later shroud. And what can we get from this one trade? So we've got a Gibble so far. We got a Taylor. So we got two pretty solid mons. What can we get next? Are we gonna get the classic Zigzagoon? I wonder, I wonder. Because Zig Zigzagoon, personally, it's not that bad. Because Lanoon can get Surf, and that could be okay in general, but we got uh, Tiberius from the United States, Ohio. Tiberius, what a, what a strange name, but that's, that's cool. We got a Remoraid, okay. I could, I could make that work, Octillery. Octillery is good in the TCG at the moment, so <laughs> oh, that has nothing to do with this, oh god. So we got a Remoraid. I wonder what this Remoraid has. I wonder if it's bread. Alrighty, so let's check the stats on this Remoraid. See what we got. So it's level 25, so we cannot use this Remoraid right now. So I have to put this one in the PC um, until Flare is at level 15 or the highest level member in our team is level 15 but um, regardless let's go through and check check the stats so it's up on special uh, up on normal attack and low no up on special attack lowered in normal attack it's got side beam aurora beam bubble beam and focus energy with sniper powers up the moves if they become critical hits okay and it's a modest nature Oh, sturdy body. Awesome. Cool. So let, let's go deposit this one in the PC when we get to to St. Lune City. Do you want to battle? No, I went to the Pokemon Center because uh, I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Awesome. So we are uh, at St. Lune City. Mm -mm -mm. Listen to that city music. Isn't it so happy? I love it. But hey, let's go into the Pokemon Center. Okay. What's up, Tierra now? Oh, hey there, big A. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? <laughs> he's, nah, he's more, he's more happy. I can't really give him like a, a gr grungy, grungy voice. Uh, Pokemon Center's shot are great. You can, you can talk to the lady at the counter and have her heal, heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. We'll definitely be depositing a Pokemon into the PC. Yo, break it down. Oh yeah, big A. There's a Pokemon in the back of a Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemon 2. Yeah, I'll go talk to them as well. Now let's get rid of Remoraid. Have some power in the PC. Because that's not bad. It's got some pretty solid moves. Because we've got, what's that, Side Beam or a Beam, Bubble Beam. That's not bad. Not bad. A sniper. So let's deposit you into box one. Yep. Awesome. And let's throw Gibble. No, let's do nothing with Gibble. 
And let's get out of here. Heal up. Get some PP back. So I don't think we really got much damage throughout that route. Route. Sorry. So you've seen route. I used to say it when I was a kid all the time, but then I found out it was actually route. Fitting room in the back. Uh, we could get a new do later once we get some more cash to kind of like throw around. Well, let's see what the two gents up the back here have for us. Some more poke balls. We got potion. I could potentially get some more potions because they could be very useful. Okay, so they're all pricey. I can't really do too much with that. Let's get out of here. So what's going on here? Is this the boutique? Yes. I love this music. Let's check it out. Oh, you can't check it, check yourself in this room. That sucks. That's right. Oh, take your time. I'll take my time. Okay, so we don't really have anything. Don't really do anything with how I get up at the moment. But that is okay. We'll fix that up in the future. Get our swag on. Cool, so what's next? I don't know. I just want to talk to some people. It's been so long since I've um I've played through the game, so I don't know where all the items are, because usually some people they give you something. Stop them from evolving, yeah. Thanks for the advice, sweetheart, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm here to rob you of your goods. Give me your money. Hey, don't turn your back to me, boy. Oh, hey, sweetheart. No, no thanks. I'm not in the mood for your lecture. So actually from what I know in Santa Luna City, this is where we get our roller skates. So we need to find the person that whizzed past us. I can't remember her name. So let's stay out of these buildings. Check that out. That's pretty epic. Got a little Roselia statue there. Building over there. Okay, so here's the gym, I believe. So is that... Oh no, that's the school. Let's have a look at the sign. Welcome to the trainer school. Brush up on some Pokemon basics. So we need to go in there. Because I believe that's part of the story. We should meet up with someone here, maybe. Let's read about poison. Yep, thanks. Um, I feel a lot smarter now. I feel as if my intelligence has gone to level 10. Let's get out of here. So where's this woman? Should we have... Oh, there she is. So I might throw Gibble at the front. So we can do some switch training if her Pokemon are too powerful. Just swap you there. Hey stranger, isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me that you don't even own a pair of roller skates? Then how about this, if you beat me in a Pokemon battle or give you a pair, I can never say no to a contest, not me. So how about it, do you want a battle? Yeah. I'm gonna steal your roller skates. <laughs> You're not going to have any roller skates, you're going to be just ranker by the time I'm done. Let's go, so Zigzagoon is level 7. So we should be able to take a hit. That's not good. Don't lower our attack. Let's check this. Awesome. And now our defense as well, you're all hacks. Straight up hacks. Rinker. Nice, we got a crit. One more should do the trick. Probably should have used Outrage, because Outrage has stab. But that's okay. 
That is all good. All good, all good. Cool, you wrap, you wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. Yeah, that's right. Short and sweet, is what I say. Short and sweet. Oh, well, wow. That was amazing. You might even be a stronger trainer than a gym leader. All right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates. That's something I would say, spiffy. It looks pretty spiffy. Just as I promised. No, I want your roller skates, woman. These ones are too new. The bearings aren't even worn in yet. Listen up, I'll read you the instructions for your new pair of roller skates, okay? No, get over it, woman. Hey, there's a tree there. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Where's the skate park now? <laughs> Alrighty. Run, boy. Oh, Route 22. So, we've got an encounter here. Uh, we'll save that for the next episode. Jim... Say that for next episode. We gotta do a grinding montage because we need to get some levels going down here. Who's this chick? Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids uh, who got a Pokemon from Augustan Sycamore, right? That gibble you got there looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, get over to the Pokemon gym. I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. Alrighty. So next episode so we didn't quite get as far in as i wanted to a, a lot of stuff's been going down in uh, the town of standalone city like check this i'm gonna have a little dinner date here dinner for one <laughs> but anyway that's cool yeah so a lot went down uh in standalone city a lot of people just kind of talking me kind of just wandering wandering around doing my stuff but I think, I think this is a better place than any to wrap up today's episode. Um, because in the next episode, we will be looking forward to um, battling the gym. That's going to be priority number one after a uh, quick little grinding montage. Uh, then we'll head over to Route 22. We'll get our encounter there and uh, see what else we can see. The newest addition to the team, I guess you could say. Uh, and then, obviously, we'll head off to uh, Viola's sister there and something should go on from there. I cannot remember what goes on. So this is great. There's a lot of things to look forward to in episode number four, but if you guys enjoyed episode number three, be sure to drop a like down below. And yeah, um, I hope to see you guys in episode number four, and I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.